Hello, and welcome to Learning AutoCAD Civil 3D by Infinite Skills. My name is Seth Cohen, and welcome to the course. In this video, we will answer the question, what is Civil 3D? So, what is Civil 3D? Civil 3D is a powerful civil engineering tool that creates smart relationships between design objects so design changes are dynamically updated. With this dynamic technology, everything from surfaces to alignments to corridors will be updated automatically based on the relationships with their other objects. Let's look at an example of this. I've got two viewports open in my model space, and let's go ahead and zoom the bottom one to my alignment end. I'm going to zoom the top one here to the profile view, and what we'll do here is look at a very simple example of the alignment and its relationship to the profile itself here. Notice that when I select the alignment in the bottom viewport and make a change to the alignment, the profile, the green line as shown here, updates automatically to reflect the change of that sampling across the existing ground. You'll also notice, if you expand the corridors category here, that Civil 3D is telling you that this Road 1 corridor is out of date and needs to be rebuilt because we've changed the horizontal alignment. I'll go ahead and right click here, select Rebuild, and notice how the corridor model updates automatically to reflect the change. Let's look at another example. Let's look at a cross-section view I have of my design. Now let's go ahead and select the proposed profile and let's make some changes here to reflect the new design iteration. Again, my corridor model is out of date as Civil 3D notifies me of this. And I'll simply right-click on here, select Rebuild, and notice how the section view automatically updates, including all the daylight areas as well. This is what Civil 3D is. Civil 3D is a very powerful and dynamic civil engineering tool that can be used on transportation, land development, and water projects. In this video, we will discuss what you should expect from this course. So, what should you expect from this course? Well, in this course, we will discuss the major design aspects of Civil 3D. We will go over the following topics. The Civil 3D interface, points, using server databases, surfaces, alignments, sharing Civil 3D data, profiles, assemblies and sub-assemblies, corridor modeling, grading in Civil 3D, pipe networks, cross-sections, quantity takeoffs, creating sheets, parcels, pipe pressure networks, and finally, working with point clouds. There is also an accompanying data set that is included with this course and I will mention what file to use prior to discussing the topic that will be discussed. After you complete this course, you should have a good grasp of the basics of using Civil 3D and be ready to start your first real-world civil engineering project. In this video, we will discuss working with the dataset for this course. Because many companies have different practices and different locations for their data, we need to discuss how you, the student, can get the dataset to work. The most important aspect for the dataset to work is for the working folder that is defined by Civil 3D to be set to the default location. If it is not, the dataset may not work correctly, especially when we discuss the topic, how to share Civil 3D data. So what you need to do is place the Learning AutoCAD Civil 3D Infinite Skills folder into the C colon Civil 3D project. If I navigate to my computer, the C drive, and then Civil 3D projects, place the dataset folder as you see here. Now let's discuss starting Civil 3D. For the dataset to work, we will work with the default Civil 3D Imperial AutoCAD profile. I'm using Windows 7, but the procedure is pretty much the same for all versions of Windows. You go to the Start menu, All Programs, and then find the Autodesk folder. Then select your flavor of Civil 3D. In this case, I'll pick Civil 3D 2014. And then navigate to the appropriate icon. As you see here, AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 English Imperial. I have copied these icons to my desktop for easier use. Now that we're in Civil 3D, I'm going to open up a file. One quick little trick here if you're not aware of this, is to add the folder to your shortcut places as shown on the left side here. To do so, navigate to the C colon, Civil 3D Projects, Learning AutoCAD Civil 3D Infinite Skills folder, and select the Drawings subfolder. Then, on the left side, simply right-click and choose Add Current Folder. This is a great way to add shortcuts to your different projects that you may be working on. 
Now, if I ever need to open a file contained in my dataset, I simply select this icon as a shortcut to my dataset folder. I'll go ahead and open up the 0103 file, working with the dataset from this course. Now that we're in Civil 3D, let's discuss how you can set the working folder. In Civil 3D, navigate to the Tool Space, Prospector tab, and locate the Data Shortcuts collection. To set your working folder, simply right click on Data Shortcuts and navigate to the Set Working Folder option here. Then what you do is you simply navigate to the C drive, Civil 3D Projects, and AutoCAD Civil 3D will find the projects as listed in that folder. Click OK, and now that is the working folder. One item to note as well is the AutoCAD tabs as shown here. This feature was added in AutoCAD 2014 and is used to make it easy to navigate from one document to another. Since we will mainly be working in a single document in this course and a safe space and give us a less cluttered view, I'm just going to switch these off. To switch these off, navigate to the ribbon, view tab, user interface panel, and simply toggle file tabs off. This concludes this video discussing working with the dataset for this course.